Hi guys, this is a very weird way to introduce the vlog, but welcome back. I'm in the middle of trying on some clothes I ordered and I got this like bralette. I'm, I'm not obviously gonna be wearing this all day, but I got it as like my first bra that I ordered from End Other Stories. I got it in a medium and it fits really well. You can kind of see my tatas a bit better like this. They're still very tight and stuff, but they're doing really good. But I'm trying on clothes, excuse the hair. I just wanted to kind of show you guys this little try on. I got this like set, but these pants are kind of big on me, so I think I'm gonna return them. But then I also got this top to go along. This bra looks so good. It's so weird, because I went from like extra small, like bralettes to medium, which is crazy. But I just wanted to put it on real quick so I could see what this top would look like. I think I got this top in a small. So this is meant to be like a set, but the pants are like kind of big on me. Like they're, they need to be a bit tighter, but also actually maybe I can keep them because I am planning on gaining a little bit of weight. So it should fill out once I've gained a bit of weight. The pants are in an extra small. The top is in, oh, the top is actually an extra small, but it's stretchy, so it kind of, works out i think this is cute and like i'm planning on getting a little bit of weight so i'm hoping this will fill out maybe i should keep them i'm gonna get ready and do my hair in a bit like today's the first day that i'm like shooting and working and stuff but i got these clothes in and i want to wear one set for the photo i don't think i'm gonna wear this one though but okay i'm gonna keep this and just hope that my weight gain will fill out the pants i'm like currently at like my lowest weight i think i'm very skinny like moving it was crazy and i lost a lot of weight but i am planning on putting some weight back on especially when i start going to the gym again um and now that i have my tatas you know i kind of want to fill it out but okay this set is cute i'm gonna keep i'm gonna try on the second one really quickly so for the second set i got the pants in an extra extra small because i wanted it to fit like tight they are a bit shorter than I wanted to, but then I got the shirt in a, a large, I think. I think it's like a 40. Pants are 32, and then the shirt is like a 40 because I wanted to be like oversized. Not sure if I like the length of these pants, but... Wait, actually, I want to wear a tank top underneath it. Okay, I put on a tank top. This tank top is like one that I still had and it's in, in an extra small. I do think I'm gonna have to get my tank tops in a small because I think it's a bit too too small for me, but the pants are like shorter than that I than I wanted them to be. Let me put on some boots and see. Okay, I guess with boots that's cute. Okay, so I'll keep these pants. I need to put on my bra because I need support. I think it's cute. What do you guys think? I like it. Or maybe I'll go for a different top. I don't know, but... Okay, cute. I just wanted to show you that real quick. I'm going to go put on my bra and start getting ready, which I will film. And while I'm getting ready, I'll give you a little update on me. About to go get ready. My hair is literally so dirty. I probably haven't even brushed it in like... I don't know how many days. Ow. So dirty. I haven't been able to wash it either. I think I won't be able to wash it this week until my mom comes on Friday so she can help me wash my hair. I'm getting my hair braided this weekend, so that'll be nice, save me time. And the only thing is, like, I'm hoping I'll be able to get it up into, like, a bun when I'm trying to shower, but we'll figure that out another day. Oh, there's, like, fucking gel flakes all over me. So, just to give you an update on me, I'm doing so much better. I'm able to actually, like, do things now, and today's the first day that I'm working, I gave myself the weekend to like have my last few days to um, really relax and rest and today's Monday so I'm picking things back up definitely taking it slow like I'm not doing too much but um, today what I mostly just want to do is get ready and take some photos for Instagram because I haven't posted in a while and then I just want to well I need to unpack a lot of things that I like received for collabs and stuff i need to try on some clothes that i got for a video so i said i just want to kind of plan out what other content i want to do this week most of that is just like on my computer anyways the only physical stuff is taking these photos like getting ready to take them and then trying on the clothes so you know taking it slow 
And as for videos this week, I'm just vlogging. I think I put up two vlogs. So this one, and then I'm going to try to get another one up for Friday or something. If I can't make Friday, I'll do it like Sunday. But just slowly getting back into things. I have to wait like five more weeks until I can start working out. Which is fine because I can just prepare myself for it. But now that I have my boobs, I'm like, okay, I want to gain a little bit of weight to even it out a bit. And like just you know, have the rest of my body match my Tata's because moving has just been so much for me that I lost a lot of weight just because not from like, not that I like really try to lose weight, but it's like when you're moving, you're just constantly doing things. So I was very active, more active than I usually am. And I wasn't necessarily eating more to like compensate. Sometimes I wasn't, I was eating less probably because I was so busy. So I just lost a lot of weight that I feel like now I'm ready to like put back on, which I want to do mostly from working out. Not necessarily, like obviously food plays a role as well, but I want to gain muscle, you know, not fat. So I think what I'm going to do now is just try to focus on eating as clean as possible again throughout the week. And then once I'm allowed to start working out again, I'll... I will get into that. Um, I don't want to do like heavy weightlifting. Like I don't need to like bulk or anything. Like I don't want to get huge, but probably just do some. Um, I think I just want to do some dumbbell like exercises because I feel like those are the easiest for me. And it also means I get to hide away from the rest of the gym and do it in a corner because that's where I'm most comfortable. So my newest way of doing this bun is by <laughs> is by like sectioning sectioning off this part because these are like the shortest pieces or parts of my hair and it's nice when you can get these like slick back so that's what i've been doing now i used to do it like parted as well but different like i think i showed it in a vlog once but but yeah, I've been doing so much better. I'm excited to slowly get back into working and, you know, getting things done while still definitely taking it slow because my body, like, I could tell, like, last night I went to sleep at, like, 10 and I, like, literally couldn't get out of bed until 8.30. So I slept many hours, but it's because, like, I feel good, but my body's still, like, doing a lot of extra work that it usually wouldn't be doing. So I can tell that I'm like still really, really tired. And at the end of the day, like I definitely feel a bit more pain as well. I'm still taking paracetamol like three to four times a day. Because if I don't, I definitely still am in pain. Um, but I'm trying to slowly like lower it. So last night I tried, well... Two nights ago, I tried to skip it, and then I realized I was still in a lot of pain. So I kind of just take it day by day, whatever my body is kind of telling me. Um, but if I'm in a lot of pain, I do still take it because, like, it's, it's fine to do that, you know, and it helps me get through. I think most of the pain now is just kind of like my muscles are really sore, and it's just very tight still, like, extremely tight. Cause my skin still needs to stretch out like i literally went from like a small b cup to like a d double d so it's like a lot you know i'm very happy like they look better every day which is amazing just can't wait for them to be fully healed so i can actually like do everything i want again i can stop wearing the bra because i mean the bra makes it hard to dress in my opinion because nothing looks good with the bra on I mean, this doesn't look too bad, but I don't know. I have not put on makeup in <sighs> so long. When was the last time I put on makeup? Probably over a week ago. I don't think I've put on makeup while I have my boobs done. So it's been probably like a week and a half. And I'm kind of excited Ooh, to do my makeup again. Sorry if it's loud. I'm putting stuff in my drawer. And it's like all metal, so it's, you know, very extra. So my battery died when I was getting ready, but I finished my makeup and I just took some photos and they turned out so good. I'm kind of nervous, kind of excited because I haven't posted in, I don't know, like probably like two weeks or something. 
Um, do you have to say my tits hurt so bad now because I just like feel like I just feel like I I don't know like obviously I wasn't wearing my bra when I was shooting and I can tell now that it's like whew, like it's it was kind of a lot so put my bra back on changed into some leggings and this I literally wore this yesterday and I just put it on again um, I need to go make some lunch because I really need to eat something and then I'm gonna like clean up because everything's a mess I haven't even cleaned up my makeup I literally went from finishing my makeup to straight getting ready like I ended up putting a completely different outfit on and then I put my bra back on and I sat on the couch editing the photos and now I'm here so I'm kind of in a lot of pain I'm gonna take my painkillers again in like an hour I think my timer goes off at like four so I'm just gonna try to make some lunch right now and then clean up oh I can feel it and like oh that was a bit too much I think hopefully after my I take my painkillers I can try on some of the clothes that I need to try on because um wait let me put you over here I think this is a bit better this is my new cabinet by the way I forgot to show you and I hung up a mirror I think those are the only updates that I have like I didn't change anything else I don't think Ooh, shit. Oh my god, I'm getting fucking breadcrumbs everywhere. Dude. I'm just gonna make a quick avocado toast with salmon. Ow! My tits hurt. I definitely got a bit ahead of myself. But also, I'm like due to take my painkiller, so I, it makes kind of sense. Is that a, it makes kind of sense? I don't think that's correct, huh? I'm just gonna make sure that I... Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. But this is my cabinet. It's still a mess on the inside right now, so I'm not even going to show you. But I'm so happy she came in. I love her so much. She's so pretty. And it's great. Okay. Oh. My back hurts kind of. Maybe my bra is too tight. One thing I definitely have to like... I had to kind of learn is like to fix my posture i'm still trying to do it because for for a while i was kind of walking like this with my boobs and i really need to try to have my back straight like it's i don't know i still have to kind of i catch myself um kind of being slouched over if that makes sense oh she's still good she's been in the fridge for a while but Apparently she's so good. Yesterday I ordered my record player and I also already got two vinyls so I got changes and I got Justice. Um, I'm leaving them in the packaging until I get my record player. I still need to order speakers. I'm not sure which ones I want to get yet. But I need to get speakers and then once my record player comes in I can like set it up. I also got some Ari vinyls and I got some Lana just some of the albums that I just like could listen to like f like completely listen through and still love it like honestly I don't even listen to Lana Del Rey anymore but some of her older albums I'm still like love and I could play and it's like very nostalgic so I decided to get I think I got Born to Die and I don't know another one but and i want to get more more of justin's albums like his older albums i'm going to try to see if i can find some, back, some like vinyls and i also want to get some black bear but i think they're quite hard to get i might have to like i don't know i didn't i didn't know it was like a whole thing that people like resell vinyls and shit i've never really looked into that whole world but apparently it's a thing, so I'll look into that soon and I'm gonna start collecting. Oh, my tits. My fucking tits. I hate that this salmon always falls apart. This week, Luca and I are gonna have a meeting to discuss um what we want to do for left on red season two we definitely want to do a bit of a rebranding just because obviously now that we've done it for a while 
we kind of know what we want to change and stuff. If you aren't listening to our podcast, I always have a link in the description. It's really funny. You get to see like a super unfiltered side of me, um, which I feel like I'm already showing that side of me more in the vlogs, but on Left on Red, like I'm like fully unfiltered basically, and I am very crazy. And Luca and I are just a great duo. Like, we realize it more and more, like, especially with this last episode we did, it was, like, sex ed, which was so funny. We are literally, like, so, like, he's my soulmate, I'm convinced. And the way we just, I don't know, like, we just, we're so good. And we're so fucking funny, I'm sorry. Like, I don't know anyone else funnier than we are. Say that up. I thought it was already 3 p.m., but it's actually 2.30, which means I can't take my painkillers for another hour and a half. Oh my god, my tits are about to blow up. <laughs> Anyways, this is my lunch. Very good. I haven't worn makeup in so long, it feels great. Like for probably like a whole week, I looked like a bum. No, actually longer. Like I think there was only like one day, which was the end of the last vlog where i kind of got ready but not really like i didn't put on makeup i just did my hair besides that every day after my surgery i've just been looking very bummy which is totally fine obviously because i'm recovering but it's just after a while you're just like oh my god is this who i am now like <laughs> i just kind of felt like my life was over like it was almost like oh this is my life now which obviously is not the case because like i just once i've healed i'm gonna be back to normal but I hate like not being able to do anything like even though I didn't have to put out content or anything I'm glad that I did because it made me feel like I was doing something it's two days later um i'm wearing a wig it's not laid down like don't look at my lace but i'm wearing a wig i put this on last night and i shot content in it and it this is the first time i put on a wig in like two years or something but it's such a pretty wig i'll show you guys later when i'm when i like get ready and i fix it again um i was gonna make coffee i just wanted to say hi make some coffee um, I ordered like a speaker sound system, which I kind of want to try to install today. I don't know if I end up having time, but I've already ordered my record player, which should come in hopefully this week. I don't know, maybe next week. I got it from Urban Outfitters, so I don't know. Urban Outfitters always like sometimes they're fast, usually they're not. But what else? I'm gonna start doing my own nails. Um, so my nail tech is on maternity leave and she's probably not gonna go back to like doing clients. So I did book an appointment with someone else for once and I liked how she did it, but it's acrylics and I'm just not made for acrylics, okay? So like a couple days ago, also to the person commenting that I should get this, I got one now. It literally just came in, so I'm using it. Curious to see how this is gonna 
make my coffee taste. Um, so yeah, I already literally broke it off. I had to cut it off and it literally like split my nail and it started bleeding. So I cut it off and I think it kind of like grew back together now. Like I think it's fine. So I'm just waiting until I can remove it myself. I'm just not doing acrylics. Acrylics are the worst thing I could do for my nails. It's because they just like they don't bend with your natural nail. So the moment you hit it, your whole nail can literally come off. And I just I'm not willing to risk that anymore. So I got the like a prey a prey. Is it a prey? The nail system It's basically with the tips that you put on whatever. Once I have everything in, I'm going to do my nails. I'll vlog it for you guys. Let me make my coffee real quick. This is going to be loud. So anyways, I will show you guys once I start doing that. I'm going to like film it. Most likely. I'm going to, this is going to be loud again because I need to steam my milk. I'm gonna shoot some more content and ooh, I need to go get braiding hair because I'm gonna get my hair braided this weekend because I have a snipe shoot next week. Ew, so much foam. Gross. I need to learn how to drink coffee with foam because at this point, like, I'm just being a child, you know? But I have a snipe shoot next week, so I wanted my hair in braids one more time. And I think I'm going to go back to wigs for a bit after that. I think it'll be fun, especially because this wig is just so beautiful. I'll be, I'll be sharing the details on my Instagram soon. Let's have a taste test. I haven't had hot, hot coffee in a while. I need to take some of this film off. I can't. I can't. I had like a couple packages delivered this morning. And my delivery guy was really cute. I've never seen him here before. He was he came to my door twice. <laughs> it was very cute. Loki like <laughs> wanted to like look up my name and DM me or something. Even though it's probably against his work like rules thing whatever it's called i was practicing for my theory exam this morning i'm doing really good there's just one section that i need to practice a little bit more but i'm gonna go in tomorrow to take it and i just really hope i can i pass because then i just want to do like um i want to take this like i don't know what it's called in english but basically take lessons and literally get my license in like two weeks or something it's like super fast you basically, I think you take lessons like multiple times a week. And hopefully next year, early next year, I can get a car, you guys. I really need, like it's time for me to get a car. It's just taking way too long. And, oh wait, my mom FaceTimed me. I'm going to do a little bit more work on my laptop. And then I'm going to get ready, shoot some photos. I'm going to go run errands for the first time since my surgery. Um, I've been out like two or three times. I literally have not been leaving my house yet. <laughs> It's today's, what is it? It's Wednesday, and last time I actually went outside and left my house completely was last Friday. So, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> um, going outside gives me major anxiety now with my tits because it's like, I don't know, I feel so like, I'm super out of control, of whatever can happen. And also the last time, um, the last time I went outside on Friday, I just, it just didn't feel good at all. Like it was really painful. I think maybe this time it'll be fine. Um, I just need to go vibrating hair. I want to quickly run to the coffee shop. I want to quickly go to the grocery store. We'll see how I do. A little bit nervous. Ooh. I can tell I need to start, I need to like, I haven't been drinking coffee every morning anymore. And I can tell now, like, I've had a few sips, ready to take a shit. Something that I've been taking recently um, is pre and probiotics. So I've heard about it a lot. And obviously, after my surgery, I was so constipated. So I was really trying to figure out what I could do to kind of 
get everything flowing again and i've been taking one of those a day and it's been so fucking great if you have any issues with your gut health i would definitely look into pre and probiotics um definitely also obviously have a look at if it's something you're eating because my constipation definitely was from the anesthesia and all the medicine and shit i was taking besides that usually i'm i poop every day and i'm like fine but i'm just taking it now and i think it's nice anyways even if you poop every day like i think it's good for your gut health and you know making sure everything flows and also if you like poop every day then you're probably not going to be as bloated hey siri facetime mama making a facetime call to mama mobile mama needs me um i got a package from la sisters this is a dutch brand um Lois and I, we actually follow each other on Instagram. I've never met her before, but she's super nice. And she sent me a DM asking if I wanted to receive some stuff. So I was like, yes. And I only told her about like one tracksuit I saw and she ended up sending me like a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys. Um, and she said that code Lisa will get you guys some kind of percentage off. I don't know what exactly, but if you wanna shop with them, you can use my code and you'll get a discount. It's not sponsored or paid or anything. I'm just, you know. This is a tracksuit that says, what does it say? Wifey with like rhinestones. I think I might wear one of this, these today. This is the sweatpants. She sent everything in an extra small. And this is the essential sweatpants in brown. Oh, I love the fabric. I was not expecting that. They feel really good quality. Very nice. <laughs> These always come in handy. I always have a bunch of like bags and tote bags by my entryway. We have the wifey hoodie. Very cute. I'm definitely gonna be wearing a sweat today. I don't know if I'm gonna be wearing a hoodie, but also I made a huge order on ASOS and for some reason they canceled my order and like returned my money and I was gonna do like a haul in this video, which I started with, with like the end other story stuff, and I was expecting ASOS to come in as well, but that's not coming. Probably next vlog, or no, maybe not next vlog. I think then the vlog after that, I'll have some new stuff because I'm just gonna be ordering some stuff again. I don't know. Anyways, this is the brown hoodie. It just says LA Sisters on there, and it's embroidered, which I always love. If you're like looking at stuff with like graphics on it try to always get something that's embroidered because that's just gonna last so much longer if it's like printed on there there's a bigger chance it's gonna like come off okay so the next tracksuit is the one that i actually said i wanted which is so fucking cute i'm such a sucker for gray sweats like both on me and on men i prefer it on men i mean i'm wearing literally wearing gray sweatpants right now this is all i fucking wear i'll probably wear the fuck out of these two so cute and it has like the green detail which I really like. I love this fabric. Ooh, maybe I'll wear these today. But I don't know. <laughs> They're all so cute. Or maybe the black sweats. Because I've been wearing gray a lot. And then it comes with a matching sweatshirt. Thank you, Lois, for sending me that. I think I'm gonna just quickly like, kind of get ready. Get dressed, do my skincare, and then I'm gonna continue doing a bit of work. And then I'm gonna do my makeup, shoot content, run errands, and go about the rest of my day. And maybe also, I really wanna to try to set this up. So this is my sound system that I got, let me show you. Um, it's from JBL, and well, it looks like this. So it's like a sound bar, and then it has two separate like speakers you can take off. And then this is like, um, whatever the fuck that's called. I am gonna go get ready now and and then I'll be back later. See ya, also my abs are back. It's a great day. <laughs> Finished getting ready. Someone's, I don't know what the fuck they're doing, but they're being so annoying and loud. Um, it's super gloomy today. It doesn't really show on camera because I could have a good camera, but it's very gloomy. I need to, I shaved the hair. I think I prefer it curled because it just has more volume. I feel like it's harder to create volume. I don't like when it's like super flat. You know, I like when it's like really big and like poofy. 
so I'll probably curl it again tomorrow but for today I'm leaving it kind of straight I think I want to take photos in this mirror I need to shoot for a clothing brand so I'm just gonna kind of make room and clean up in the background and then there's something in my fucking eye and then I'm gonna change. I'm wearing the brown sweats, by the way, from LA Sisters. Literally the most comfiest thing ever. Love the fabric. They're like so nice and thick. I feel like these are great for like winter. Definitely recommend. And I love the fit of them too. This is an extra small. I love how it's like fitted, but it's still like that oversized look. Oh, are they gonna do this all fucking day? I don't know if you guys can hear that. So what I'm wearing right now is my outfit for today, but I need to shoot in one of these for a brand called Ben Clark. I'm thinking maybe the cropped sweater and I'm gonna wear it with some jeans. I think I'm gonna wear this with Jordan's, wait. There we go. Isn't this such a cute outfit? I usually wouldn't put this together, but I kind of like it. This is definitely an outfit I could wear right now because because of this bra, there's like barely any tops I can wear because the bra just shows in every top. So this is actually great. Oh, this mirror is dusty. Let's do this. I just need some music to get myself. Oh, but that's gonna change the color. I need to turn off the color of my TV. Yeah, I think I got the photos. I just have to edit them still. But I need to eat some lunch, so I'm gonna heat up some leftover pasta. Oh my god, my tits are killing me right now. What's like most painful right now is like underneath my boobs at the moment. And like they're just really painful to the touch like they're very sensitive also i'm ovulating so i feel like that might have to do with it because whenever i'm ovulating my nipples are really sore so i feel like it just makes them extra painful at the moment i'm just eating pasta with chicken that i made not last night but the night before and i'm gonna go through these photos as i'm eating the thing is i have to be very I have to literally remind myself to eat because right now I'm not even hungry and I had breakfast like really early it's three right now I had breakfast around like nine I think and like I'm not even hungry right now but I know I have to eat so I have to like remind myself it's honestly a bit late I should eat a bit earlier but I literally have to remind myself to eat because I when I'm working I just like don't think about food and I don't get hungry it's so bad It's hot. 1994. I'm sitting there for a half a month to make it. It's crazy. I'm so... They're sitting in my warm. I don't know if you forgot, but I need a temp by the way. Imagine the fucking music and like the sound if I'm like watching a movie or something. Ugh. <gasps> I'm going to try to put the box open so I don't have to lift it. Oh I can't really pick this up. I want to pick it up so bad, but I know I shouldn't. I'm just doing it like this. Guys, my tit is going to explode. Oh my god. Like, if I want to have, like, music in my whole apartment or if i wanted to feel more like i'm surrounded by the music i can place these like in different parts of the living room or like this this area and it's gonna be so cool i'm gonna try to figure this one out and once i finished installing it i will show you hopefully i can do it mm -hmm. 